To me, the universe in part is constructed by Neptune, which is necessary. It's the whole spiritual transcendent end of life and Saturn, which is the physical reality of the 3D physical world. And when those two meet, you get this experience of being in a human physical body in this human flesh and at the same time having a transcendent nature. That's the meeting of Neptune and Saturn. Now, Saturn rules karma. Saturn rules the the not only the physical limitations that the world brings. It's like the world isn't just Disneyland, Saturn says. Like it isn't like every option is open at every moment just because you dream it. Saturn says, no, no, no. There's actually karmic limitations and there's lessons and there's a curriculum and there's racism and sexism and, you know, all kinds of other things too. There's like, it talks about what's real on the physical plane. Neptune says there's no boundaries. It's limitless. The, the God nature is limitless, but reality is the mix of the two. And so I was really thinking about that this week because some of you may know this if you've been around for a while, but I've got this pet peeve <laughs> and it's really this sort of, I would call it crackpot new age writing, very well-intentioned often, but says things like, if you dream it, it will be so, or every dream is meant to happen or Every, you know, if you should know your own God self. And when you know your own God self, you will know that every desire you will be able to create. And that if it, you don't create it, it's because you forgot for a moment your God self. Now, that to me, it, and it's rampant. In fact, it was kind of cool in the last week because a couple of people started posting that kind of stuff on the forum as if it was like something I was going to agree with. And I was like, oh, this is perfect. I can talk about this now. This is without paradox. The paradox is, of course, the desires, they're all coming with being human. We work with this all the time. But when you offer everything to the divine, the highest desires that are meant to happen for the soul's evolution happen. It doesn't mean every single desire is supposed to occur the way many new age writers write that's pure neptunian delusion and it and the same thing when somebody just says oh the world is just hard you can't change anything you are what you are your your nature is encoded by the age of six that's just like pure saturn without neptune you know when somebody's just that kind of my brother's like that that's just sort of pure rational limitation. But what we're dealing with here is actually the meeting of Saturn and, and Neptune, where you're both. You're both. And it was making me, I guess, because Neptune's so strong this week, I was thinking about how back when I gave readings, there was this very nice guy who used to come to me all the time. And he was a computer programmer. He was a double Pisces. So he was a, you know, very, had you know, lots of dreams about his life. And he wanted to be an actor. And he wanted to move to Hollywood and he wanted to be famous. And he kept coming to me over and over and over, over the years. And he kept saying, hasn't happened yet, hasn't happened yet. And he said, you know, but my dreams are very strong and I know that everything I dream will occur. Well, it honestly did not happen, I think, because when I looked at his chart and I was, you know, he had a beautiful chart, but to me, his chart had so much to do with learning how to let go, how to not force solutions, how to actually be aligned with the divine will instead of just saying, I want this and uh, my dream will make it so that even though I, I understood his feelings, he was so deeply frustrated by the end. And I think this was after like 10 years of readings off and on. He finally said to me, oh, I get it. Like I finally have released not into hopelessness, 
but into finally being able to say to divine love, use me as you will on the planet. Like I'll stop telling you that I need to be a famous actor and use me the way you want to use me. And he goes, and it took me 10 years to get to that. But he goes, now I feel a lot of peace. And he went on and, you know, he's teaching things and he's like doing theater, but he does it in like community theater. He never went and became famous that way. And he's quite a happy person, but it took that place of letting go. So, you know, to me, that's some dreams are absolutely meant to happen and others there's what occurs when you're learning to call in the, the divine. So I think this transit is just making me think about the um, intense oversimplification when somebody says, if you want it, you will make it happen. You're ever, you're, you're a divine creator. That's what someone posted this week from some writer. You're a divine creator. And as a divine creator, you know that you will make every desire occur. You will, you will manifest it. I'm like, no, <laughs> you will actually, if you're really aligned, the highest will come for the evolution of your soul. And it's, that's the meaning of Saturn and Neptune. So, I mean, what's amazing in that, and I've talked about it a lot, is this can all happen in the context of, you know, visualize your dreams. Like, that's beautiful. Like, offer it all over, you know, feel yourself having the dream. That's all, you know, you get something from that. Great. But that idea that every dream and every desire is meant to come or you're blocking it, that is when someone's in pure Neptune without the ballast and the sanity of Saturn. 